Hey guys, welcome to this Trello tutorial by Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's get started with what exactly is Trello. So Trello is a simple and easy to use collaboration tool that can enable you to organize projects and everything related to it into boards. With Trello, you can find all kinds of information like what's being worked on, who's working on what, and what progress the project is making. Now we'll learn about that in a little bit while we're talking about the Trello demo. Now let's talk about the advantages of Trello. Now first off, Trello can be used immediately after signing up. So Trello offers you a free sign up after which you get access to almost all of Trello's features. Now it does have a premium service, but most of Trello's important features are available in the free account. Secondly, it follows the Kanban system. So the Kanban system is a popular methodology that can be used to achieve lean. So with Trello, you can also achieve lean. Now Trello also has a very popular mobile application, which also has the same features as the interface that you see on the desktop. It's very user friendly. Now the fourth advantage is that all project related items can be seen on one page which means everything you need about the project is available in one place. Next, adding new members, creating issues, and assigning them are very easy with the help of Trello. Now that we had a look at all the advantages that are provided by Trello, let's have a look at a live demo. So first off, let's go to Trello.com. So here you can see two options to log in or sign up. So first of all, if you've never used the website before, go to sign up. So here you can enter your email or you can go through Google or Hotmail or Outlook. So it's very simple. I already have an account, so I'll just log in. Right, so I'm just gonna log in. So if you're using Trello for the first time, this is what it would look like. So here you have personal boards, templates, home and so on. So let's go one by one. Firstly, the most important thing that you need to know about is boards, which is right here. So let's assume you're using this for a team, which means that you need people to share the board along with. So first of all, let's create a team. So here I'm just going to name a company called Company Co. Say we do engineering IT. So let's write a brief team description and continue. So here, say I have four members. So I have Bob. I'm adding them here. So depending on what your team is like, you can add those team members. So this is important so that you can connect with them while you're on the board. So this is company.com, so we'll just add them. So the team members that you're going to invite will get an invite email very soon, as soon as you're done by clicking the invite to team button. We'll also add Bill, who also works at my company. And there's technician one. this technician one who works at company.com will add anybody who's required later so invite to team and there you go there's some details here about the team and all that let's go back to home and now let's create a new board under company co so the difference here is that for personal boards is that like the name says it's personal you can also add the team if you want later on but here you have the option for creating a team board. So I'll show you how you can create a team board from personal board. So if you go to create board, here you can show as, this is by default selected as no team because it's under personal. Change it to company and you can write 
business or anything else like that and then you create a board and there you go the board has been set up so now first things first it's that you can make this team visible which is either only board members can see it or since it's a small team the entire team can see it so it's up to you how you want it there's the public option which everyone can see which i don't think is necessary but if you feel like it you can do that too first of all you can even write a description of the board which is what you want to achieve with this board for example this is business or sales or something like that you can change the background into something more colorful or less colorful like this and then there's search cards which we haven't added anything so far so there's nothing to search there's stickers which again is i feel unnecessary at the moment you can also see something called butler so based on your usage or how you're using trello butler can provide you suggestions like what you can add here like you can see here the tips haven't been added so far because we haven't used trello so far so based on your usage it will give you suggestions now let's go back so here you see power ups so power ups are basically additional features that you can add to your board so there are features that are connected to a number of different fields there's analytics automation utilities tools and so on so as a free user you get access to one power up but still we don't have to use it so far because we don't have anything on our board but based on your requirement you can go through these power ups and decide on one of them so now let's get back to business or our board so first you can see add a list so this basically refers to the different processes that you want to follow in this board so first of all we'll add a list title i'm going to add to do that's the first list then there's in progress on hold and completed so here we have four lists which represent the processes in this business so if you want you can even add another list depending on your requirement so in these lists there are things called cards so which are like subtopics so first of all let's add a very simple title for example deliver product company a so again very simple deliver product to company b like this so on and so forth if you want it so here this is a card so this card can be moved from each stage to another as it progresses so this is in the to do stage since we've not started with anything so once you click on a card so this pop up shows up so here you can add a description like uh, conversed with company a ready to go just some details that you want to add you save now one thing you can see add to cart so there are a number of different things you can add to this cart so members now i have four team members i can add bob here i want bob in on this i want bob to see the activities as it happens i want bill to also see as things proceed right so the bob and bill are in on this right now next you have labels so depending on what you want to use this for for example i want to use this to represent that it's important or immediate I put it as red save so i can select this label to indicate that this is now very important so depending on your company's you know style or depending on your requirements you can add the labels then you have a checklist so different steps can be focused on with this checklist for example i'm just going to write steps so we're delivering a product for example 
So let's just use steps for event gathering. I'm just going to write the software lifecycle steps. Analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. So yeah, we have all the steps. So one thing is that once each of these steps are done, you tick it, so a percentage increases. So until you're done with 100%, you can just keep ticking. Finally, it will show 100% and you're done. So another thing is a due date. So this is basically by when you want it completed. So this is basically a reminder that we need to complete it or before a particular date is done. So I'm not adding a due date as of now, but that's up to you. Next, you have something called attachment. So say, for example, all your requirements have been gathered into one PDF. So where all the requirements that are required by the company are shown in that PDF, you can attach it here so that everyone has access to it. Then a cover can also be added to your card, which is just basically beautifying it. So we can find one. So for example, this. And there you go. There's a pretty good looking cover here. Now we have all the information. So let's get started. So to officially mark the beginning of the project, we'll just go and put this to in progress. So at the same time, you can do the same thing with this card as well about company B. So let's just focus on company A now. So say the steps have already started, requirement gathering is done, designing is done, implementation is also done. So depending on the person, you know, the technician, so the technician could respond that, you know, We've already started. So before that, we need to add the technician. He's already on this, but if you had to add him, you search for members and you have board members who's already in the board. You can add the technician. Now you can also, you know, add activity details like technician one. Yeah. How's it going? How's the process going? Now he could respond here with it's fine. So each time one of us, you know, adds the other or says something to the other, they get notifications so that, you know, they get to respond as well. They get to know what's happening. Now, now say for example, the technician is not able to complete the project or complete his work. So it's put on hold. So here I could say, so testing isn't done. So we can say tech by the delay or what's going on. And he would give an appropriate response. And once he's ready, he can finish the testing and put it back to in progress. Then eventually all of it is done, deployment and maintenance. So you, here you have an option to hide complete items. That's up to you. You can also delete them if you feel like it. You can close this. And then after everything is done and you feel that everything of the process is done, you can put it on completed. So if this is a recurring process, you can, you know, make a copy of this, which you can find by doing this copy. Or you could just put this on archive, indicating that it's done. You can even get it back by just going to more archived items and then there you have it you can send it back to board that's up to you and there you go that's most of everything you need to know about trello one another thing is that right now you can only add 10 boards on this feed as of now because you're using a free membership also depending on the intensity or the difficulty of the board you can also have different boards for different projects I've just used one for multiple projects, but it's entirely possible for you to have one board per project. You can also, you know, favorite this, indicating that this is a very important one that you need to focus on every day. So this is where you get all the notifications that X has changed. There you go. All kinds of responses, everything that you need is available on this home screen, which is basically like a home feed. You can also find templates depending on your requirement. 
So you can choose a template from a wide variety of options. So I'm just going to show you the Kanban template. So here you have details about the template. You have an example of what the template looks like and so on. And there you go. That's everything you need to know about Trello. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.